Hi, Dan. Oh my, it's BTS. It's Brian's favorite thing. Brian's face lit up when he started doing BTS just now. Like that. <laughs> Ready with Grace, it's happening. <laughs> Welcome back to the behind the scenes of Riding with Grace. Once upon a what writing, is that? It's my new wand. Let me take this one. Oh. Anyways, last week we showed you how Grace co-creates the novella Freak Week, but this week we're going to talk about how she co-creates the actual YouTube show. Just like five easy steps, you too can create a Riding with Grace. Set. This is Diane Kang! Diane is my <laughs> assistant extraordinaire. She really makes it happen every week and she helps indulge me in the dumb that is up like the duck stuff challenge. The show is about more than just submissions on Wattpad, Twitter polls, fairy fan mail, uh, Instagram posts, pigeon posts. Yeah. Anyways, everything that people post mobily really helps contribute to the show, and Grace wanted to include people that didn't write necessarily an entire chapter. Because Princess Grace is the most fair and most just princess in all of the kingdom. Yeah. That was really important for us to make sure that everyone felt included in this series. I know not everyone has the time or energy to write something from scratch every week. So in every episode, we try to create some sort of challenge or game. You guys drew loudmouth. You guys gave me some of your bobby pin life hacks, which thank you. You've given me a lot of advice that will make me a better person through this process. Some comments on YouTube actually pointed out the fact that you can pick a lock with a bobby pin. Now we're gonna see if people are correct. Some way that you're supposed to like hit a flick. This doesn't actually work. Yeah, it hurts my fingers. I have a better way. Aha! We did it. Yeah! This doesn't work. Fan input even helped create the title sequence. You know the animations where Grace is singing the theme song? The last one is always different based on a fan interaction, statistic, or like a social post. And then the magical animator, Tani, would conjure the image. Yeah. And then Sir Brian, the editor, would weave it in magically. Sir Brian? How come he gets to be Sir and I'm a peasant? Because Sir Brian, the editor, controls time and space. Good morning, BTS. I'm Brian. I'm the editor. Let's go find Kelly, the producer. We'll find Grace eventually. Kelly's gotta be around here somewhere. Uh, I think ah, there you go, there he is! Oh. <laughs> I like the squirrel haircut. Go for the Superman look this morning. Very yeah. cool. What that are you going for? Time. Every look all at once right now. Yeah, well, I mean, a lot of the ideas that we come up with for Writing with Grace happen via email and text message, so it's just kind of natural in our culture every day, so why not create a prompt in a chapter where everything has to happen through a group message? If you really try to put yourself in the reality of Freak Week, yeah. you would be texting with your friends if you had reception and your phone battery yeah. worked. I love making fun of my own generation and how we just speak so terribly to each other in text messages and it's not even full thoughts it's not full sentences the grammar is so screwed up so I think it'll be really fun for everyone that's involved in the stage reading to kind of poke fun at the way we all naturally communicate with each other and to be able to do it in a sort of panicked high school apocalyptic setting is great and they all lived happily ever until next week I can't believe Brian gets to be a knight. Brian's a knight because he does everything, and you're a peasant because you... Not a peasant, I'm at least a knight. To be continued. See you next week.